With that, let's move on and stick to commodities now. Manisha Gupta is joining us with all the update from that space. Hey, Manisha, good morning. Hi, morning. And you know, all eyes on the Chinese numbers. The non-manufacturing PMI has fallen to a five-month low. And when you look at the China manufacturing sector, that completely and clearly has missed the market forecast and has declined to 49.2%. So even as many commodity markets started slightly in the positive, we've seen all of that give up on their profits right now. So the crude oil prices are now trading below $96 per barrel. We did see prices gain 3% to the previous week, and it was a second weekly gain. And crude prices, even with this decline right now, are headed for a first monthly gain. But the markets have seen a bit of a, a beating right now. So not just crude oil prices, the metal prices also have seen a bit of a decline after the Chinese numbers. Copper prices, after putting a third weekly gain, have declined below $3.5 per pound. Uh, the Chinese industrial profits have declined. The U.S. economic data has been on the stronger side, and that is the reason markets do feel that you might be looking at a U.S. interest rate hike. That is factored in into the market. But apart from that as well, it is going to be about the central bank meetings in U.K., Australia, Norway, Malaysia, all of that in this week. You also have to react to Europe's GDP and inflation data. That comes in in this week as well. So a very loaded, eventful week this is going to be. And the commodity markets really have started a choppy, uh, in a very choppy way in this week. Okay, all right. That is all about commodities. Manisha, thank you so much for getting up to speed with all, all of those cues. With that, we'll slip into a break now. Up next, more national and international updates will follow on the other side of this very short break.